Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Lightroom classic tutorial, I'm going to talk about the power of the HSL color tool and how to use it. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new tutorials, and let's get into this video. This tool panel is actually on the right hand side. If we scroll down a little bit, you'll find it under HSL color, and that stands for hue, saturation, and luminance. So let me reset this image back to its opening point, and I'll show you how we can use this tool to create pop of color or isolated color or change something like the woman's dress here. So if I wanted to isolate the color of this photo to just her red dress, what I could do is in the saturation panel, desaturate everything but that red slider. So there's not much blues and different colors in this photo, but you can see I've desaturated everything but the red. And if you want, you can even increase the saturation of the reds. Now this is pretty good, but it's not perfect because we got a little bit of blush in her, in her cheeks and the red of her lips and there's some red on the wall. So if I want to clean that up and isolate things a bit, I can use the brush tool right here and I can click on certain points and let's make this brush a brush that decreases saturation entirely. And then I can brush away certain areas like these points on the wall or reflections on her arm. If I want to make the brush bigger or smaller, I can use the bracket keys on my keyboard to do that. So with this brush adjustment here, we've been able to touch up the background a little bit. But heading back into the HSL panel, there's actually other cool things we can do. We can take the red hue slider and kind of move it back or forth. So in this way, we can make it yellow or purple. And the luminance is just kind of like the brightness or darkness of it. So if I darken it up, becomes darker. If I brighten it up, it becomes really bright. And if you ever want to just reset any of your adjustment, you can double click on whatever slider. It will take it back to the default. A couple other cool tips on ways you can use this tool is not only can you adjust the different color sections with the sliders, you can also click this little slider wheel here in the corner and you can adjust by clicking on points in the object. So if I wanted to adjust kind of this color of the chair, if I click on this point, it'll sample it and I drag up and down and it'll adjust that point. So there we've made that yellow chair green. So we can adjust with this point sampling method as well. And you can see it reflect in the sliders. So you can use this tool not only for creative color grading, but also you know fixing skin tones and, and white balance and color issues if you want. But that's the basics of how to use the HSL color tool. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of the new videos that I make. If you want to check out more Lightroom tutorials, I have a bunch in a playlist, so I'll leave a link to that in the end cards. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.